We're doing it again, y'all. What's hot? It's 4 p.m. And I made coffee. Because... When you had a pretty okay day and things pretty much went like you wanted them to. When you had a pretty okay day and things pretty much went like you wanted them to. The first thing you can do is take a deep breath. I think I'm out of tune here. The second thing you... Oh wait, I didn't take a breath. The second thing you can do is make yourself a big cup of coffee. When you had a pretty good day and things pretty much went like you wanted them to. Guess what? You still do what you do and sit down and record a floss too. So here we are. We're going to sit down and record another floss too. Um, where do I put this? I forgot. Welcome. I'm Kaylee. This is Kaylee Crostitch. And it is Wednesday, August 8th. Um, if y'all have noticed, if you've been a, a viewer, I've been uploading my floss tubes a little later. Um, I just, I know they go up on Wednesday. I used to record them on Tuesday night and put them up early Wednesday. But I figure since I'm on the East Coast, I'm pretty much ahead of all my... American friends anyway. So I'll just, it, it's good for me to keep it on the day that it goes up. So I am yet again celebrating small victories today. I have uh, done some reflecting on, on teaching and the kids and I am in a much better space than I was last week. It's, it's a lot. Um, and especially, and I think that probably teachers across the world are dealing with this is that um, through virtual learning some some students need reminders of how to interact with each other and interact with with their peers it's it's a lot and in normal circumstances it's 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 a lot for kids to to remember how to how to follow directions in a school and to interact with their peers it's tough it's really hard for it's it's really hard not for everyone, but for, for but for some kids. So I've kind of like shifted focus a little bit, um, and and try not to set my expectations to a level that I know I won't achieve for me, um, because I know my uh, my attention. There are some there are times where I find myself not in a in a level head while I'm teaching. So it's it's been really good for me to remember to breathe and remember that it's a it's a hard time for me and for the students being back in, in person. So that's that. If you want more, I'll probably talk about it more in in my life on Sunday, which I'm sure will happen. I do have a funny story for you though. Today, so my classroom doesn't have air conditioning. And I do, I'm, I'm a choir teacher now for junior high. And I do these stretches. So I have them go like this, stretch all the way up. And I'm sweating because it's hot in my classroom. And I, I go like this and I'm like, okay, if you want to stretch your hands up, I know I have pit stains. It's really hot in here. And I just like, I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't have that kind of, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I don't care that my pits are sweating because <laughs> it's it's hot in my classroom I think it was it was in the 80s today so yeah should I talk about cross stitch four minutes in I have gotten my stitchy bug is is it's back <laughs> because I we're uh, being at school is a is take it takes a lot of brain energy so when i get home i say this is me time this is home time as much as i can i push work out of my brain and to do that i i stitch so i had the new start that i said i was going to last week and let me show it to you this is what it will look like 
This is Barnyard Animals, which I will link below. It's a Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork by Donna Gelsinger. And I'm not going to show you a progress picture because you didn't, I, I didn't, hadn't started it last time. And here it is. I think I did this on a live. So this is, um, oh, my lighting. I'm going to do this again and again, y'all, where I just forget to do, forget to turn on my lights. Yeah, there we go. I am doing this one over one on 40 count Verdal even weave. And I am using Stitch and Mommy, Sarah the Stitch and Mommy. I'm using her method where you stitch left to right, top to bottom. And so you just choose the next empty stitch and stitch that color. Now, I, I'm not quite sure how she does it. I think she might just go row by row, but I've been just doing like, cause this is kind of one color at a time. So I, I've been just kind of like bringing it down a couple, a couple rows and then I've got like five or so rows. So I, I just went like and then did the rest of it here. Um, and I am almost all the way across this 550 wide piece and it fits on my scroll frame. I think the stitched area is about 13 inches, 13 and a half or so across. I don't remember up and down, but whenever, whenever the scroll frame does it, then it doesn't. I'm about 3000 stitches in, not yet 1%. It's a big one. It's a big one, but it goes fast. It, I like... I used to not like winding up my bobbins, but I also used to not like just stitching with one color forever. So it's been really good to to be switching out colors and, and going back and forth. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep working on this because it's, it's really fun. And my, my desk, I have an L desk, so it can just sit right here and I can stitch two handed. I can just bring my, bring my left hand on the back and my right hand on the front and it's, it's really good. I'm gonna have to get back into doing some shoulder stretches though. My my back has been a little sore. All right, goodbye. Good to see you, barnyard animals. So then the only other piece that I worked on was Seasonal Earth Sal, this one. I suppose I could move this over here, sorry. I, I'm, I'm looking all over the place. Seasonal Earth Sal, and I haven't worked on this for a few weeks, but the last time you saw it, I had completed half of the next panel almost half yeah half of the next panel the summer panel so that's where it was last time hi Kaylee from last from like three weeks ago she looks happy she was <laughs> and this is where I got to so far I apologize for the hoop marks this was in the hoop and I I just uh didn't take it didn't take it out of the hoop but I got the um, this pretty sun put in and got to working on this outside the, the sunflower here let me show you the actual what it's gonna look like so you can see the sunflower here let's put this one away sorry so hold on. you can see the sunflower and the it's gonna go here I'm working on the the vertical green rose and then got this little butterfly in I got the top of the duck's head I took the white and I moved that here and then we'll get the ducky in there pretty soon and the dragonfly this is gonna go fast these there's not very many colors in the bottom here and then we'll start on autumn I think Mary was right oh I'm sorry this is from um, where's my book I don't know where my book is cross stitch for the earth by Emma Congdon. I don't know where it went. It's somewhere. It's probably back there. Um, and this is stitched on 16 count Ada, two over one. And speaking of this project, I have a very awesome friend who attends my lives often and who um, tags me in her Insta stories often. You know who you are. It's the Curly Stitcher. Please go give her a follow on Instagram below. She um, she sent me, or she messaged me on Instagram, and she was like, hey, so you're doing seasonal earth stock, and you're using 
some of Ymir's silks, Almond M&M's, these ones, which I'm not using all of these, but I'm using these ones if, if you haven't seen these before. Wait, no, these five. So I'm using Orchid and Lily of the Valley, Buttercup, Periwinkle Peony, and Anthurium Fire. So I've subbed, I've subbed these for DMC. Um, but she, Jennifer asked me, she was like, hey, are you going to run out of any colors? And I was like, I think I am good on these, but the white I'm going to run out of because I am stitching the white area in this pattern. Um, and I was like, yeah, I might run out of white. And she was like, oh, I'm not going to use mine. I'll send it to you. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then sneaky Jennifer, she sent me the white. Here it is. There's the little floss nugget orchid. But then she'd send me more DMC. She's like, hey, I had extra here. Take it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll take free DMC. Thank you. That's so kind of you. So hopefully some of these match my barnyard animals. If they don't, then they're going into my stash and, and, uh, uh, we will see when I need them next. Look at that green. I like that. And then she didn't stop there, y'all. She sent me Michelle Bendy's Berry Bird. And an owl needle minder, right? That's an owl. Yeah. Like, stop with your kindness. Don't, I mean, don't stop being kind, but this is, this is so sweet. And so, um, she said, and, and a very sweet card with a long distance hug. Thank you. It came on a very important, it, it, this, this came at the right time. I don't know about the floss tube community. It's like, we have... <laughs> I just thought of the mean girls. We have ESPN or something. <laughs> um, because I needed this on the day that it came. It was it was so kind. But I so she said in her message, she was like, if you if you uh she had two of these, that's why she sent me one. And I was like I was looking at it, I was like, huh, that's a that's a cute pattern. Um I don't really know where I would put it. And then my good friend Betsy started a hashtag stupid, stupid tumor sow. Don't worry, it's not cancerous. Maybe you should have said that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Just kidding. My friend Betsy said, stitch any chart you want. And I was looking at this and I was like, berry bird. Hmm. You know how many letters are in berry? The same amount of letters as Betsy. Betsy Bird. And I, I messaged Jennifer. I was like, do you want to sell Betsy Bird? Hashtag stupid tumor sell. And you know that one of these berries is going to turn into Hammy. A Hamilton head. It has to. And I already talked to Michelle Bendy Stitchy. And she was like, yeah, change it. Change the pattern. Change the pattern. So it's going to be like my first time changing a pattern. So... If anyone wants to participate in the stupid tumor sal with me on Berry Bird, you you have it unstarted, then I'll have to get this started. I ordered 40 count fabric, linen. I don't know who from. I'll, I'll show it to you when I get it. But for Betsy, I ordered 40 count. So Jennifer, if you want a piece of it, let me know. Stitchy kindness. It was so kind. It was so sweet. Thank you, thank you. And... That's it, I think. I didn't stitch anything else. Oh, I did go to Michael's and I, um, you know how when you go to Michael's and you just check to see what kind of fabric they have, they had another piece of 28 count. So I wanna try a hate on, on this two over one sometime. I don't know if it'll be right away, but we'll see. All right, anything else? I don't think so. Um, as I said, I will link my projects below. I will link the people that I talked about below. Stitch and Mommy and Betsy and Jennifer. 
and I'll rewatch this and I think I talked about somebody else. Um, but with me, can you celebrate the small victories and give yourself some grace as I have? Again, anytime that I give a pep talk, this is bothering me. Anytime I give a pep talk, it's for myself because I need to be kinder to myself more often than not. And I need to ho not hold any guilt for being kind to myself. Oh, you you don't deserve to be kind be kind to yourself. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Kaylee. All right. I hope you have a wonderful week. I I think I'll be in the mood to record some ASMR this week. So Thursday or Friday, we'll see. And I will see you on Sunday for a live. And officially, I'm going to set the time 9:30 Eastern time. Betsy, get over it. Wake up early. Just kidding. Just kidding. Do what you want. I don't expect anyone to watch my lives. All right. I'm going to bask in my DMC. And I'm going to bask in my Betsy bird. And I hope I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You know what time it is. this song I have uh, you say my floss tube is over I have nothing more today why so sad remember we made an arrangement I upload every Wednesday you know when you like have done something so often and then it's like only muscle memory and then you forget how to do it yeah it's happening to me you'll be back soon you see Remember how to get to me, Floss to and the gram. Subscribe and follow to see my progress in the stitchy land. Da, 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 da. It's like I'm a music teacher or something. through highs and lows and my ukulele is still out of tune. All right, bye.